So I'm going to show you what I did with duct tape, a cooler, to make great Halloween decorations that are going to give candy and treats to the kids in my neighborhood this year, all while practicing social distancing. So this is one of the coolers that I bought. Good. Like coolers are always great to have. And I just saw the shape and I was like, something can be done with that. And then you open it up and it was nice and clean inside. And I was just envisioning putting like water bottles and candy. I actually have a smaller one that I'm thinking about for the candy and I'll show you that in a minute. And so I started looking about how to paint a cooler. And there's all kinds of weird tutorials out there about how to paint a cooler. And mainly they're from sororities and it involves an insane amount of time that I personally don't have. So I decided that I am going to transform it using colored duct tape. And so let's go ahead and get started and start making this cooler into a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. So for the top of the jack-o'-lantern, I have the green colored duct tape. Now there is a logo that is on top of the cooler. So what I did is I, I cut a small piece of duct tape and I'm going to put that over the logo to kind of just smooth it out a little bit. And then I'll continue with the green pieces all the way around to kind of make a jack-o'-lantern top. So now I have both the top and the bottom covered in the colored duct tape and super shiny. It's really easy to apply. It's way easier to do than to actually paint this. So, and I love that I can just rip off this duct tape after the season and then um, be able to reuse it. So be sure to actually put an additional layer right there on the handles just so the white doesn't show through. And now I'm going to add a jack-o'-lantern face with some black duct tape. And this is the finished jack-o'-lantern, big one. I kind of, I really like that. I like that orange and the green. And then I've got this smaller kind of mummy monster one that looks really good. So as you can see, it's just little bits of the black duct tape. The duct tape wasn't big enough to make one large circle. So I kind of like did pieces and then I took a Sharpie and colored over anything that might have been white, although it really wasn't a problem. And then I cut a little bit of a white duct tape circle and put it in the middle. And the black um, triangles were just duct tape cut into triangles, so really easy. So looks unassuming from the outside and then, ah, a little monster and uh, like I said, jack-o'-lantern. So this is how much of the duct tape that I had left over after the project, a lot of black because I was only doing um, the little facial features with the black. And then this is how much I had left on the orange roll after doing um, this big container. I had quite a lot of green and white. So you definitely can do several projects after getting the duct tape for these. 